Some people. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Where is it coming from? I mean, it's coming from me. Yeah. Anyways, patient here has a left paratonsillar abscess that we drained, what, like six weeks ago? Six weeks ago. She totally healed up, was very gnarly. Um, we yeah. had a great time getting it out. Right, lots I, of relief. I saw her afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> she totally healed, and then she got strep throat again, and now she has a paratonsillar abscess all over again. again. So. Uh, we're gonna drain it. She's very willing to show this off to anyone that might be getting this in the clinic yeah. in the future. So um, let me sh take a video of your mouth. All of that right there. Okay. You got the you got the cherry flavor today. Oh. Can I talk about three? What's it? <laughs> okay. Uh, little coke here. Whoop. So, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, oh. oh. Ooh. you feel oh, it coming out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh my god, oh. so much stuff coming out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Holy oh. crap. Oh. Feel better? Uh huh. Uh oh. oh. Jeez. Some people. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Where is it coming from? I mean, it's coming from me. Yeah, Literally. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is. Okay. Hey. Oh, poke. This is her second paratonsillar abscess. Uh, we're gonna talk about doing a tonsillectomy afterwards just because now it's proven that she's getting these recurrent infections that give her these big pus pockets. Um, and yeah, you're a champ. Thank you so much. <laughs> so these are all the tools I used. Um, <clears throat> first off is Benzikin spray. Basically it's a anesthetic that I put in the back of the throat. Then I injected with some lidocaine. And then I use an 18 gauge needle. Yes. But look at that, my God. It's a lot of pus inside there. And then, oops, Let's see. See, 11 bites to cut. Spread it open. Need to not be 